All right, what is up guys? Jared Campisi, welcome back to the channel. Today is gonna to be an exciting day because we're gonna be doing the first ride on the Monster after all of our performance mods. So the SE Project Exhaust, the uh, Termi Filter, Termi Up Map, and the Sprint Filter, and then obviously all the other mods that we've done. Over 30 pounds of weight savings. And today, myself, my dad, and Dotto are all gonna hop on this bike and see how it feels. So I'm super excited, I hope you are too. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the video. All right, so Dotto brought the bike over from his place, which is only a couple of miles. How's it feel, Dotto, just on the way amazing. over? It sounded incredible. <laughs> when you came up the driveway, it sounded amazing. What? Oh, damn. Look at this, dude. It looks incredible. Holy crap. Dude, this is gonna be a fun ride. We're all gonna hop on it and try it out. Good God, look at that. Don't forget guys, you can enter to win this bike. Patreon.com slash Camp Customs. The longer you support, the better your chances. So get uh, get over there and get signed up uh, as soon as possible. We also have a major surprise coming for the build series. And I think you're all gonna be very, very happy. So we're just waiting for my pops to show up and then we'll saddle up these beasts and uh, head on out. Dado just surprised me because he knew we got some cigars and I actually have been really enjoying cigars and whiskey. Look at this. So what is this, a cutter? It's a guillotine cutter for the cigars. Yeah, that's bad. Cuts from both dude. sides. That's beautiful. Yeah, and then that's... a torch lighter. Fuck yes. I've been wanting one of these for so long. Yeah, we were lighting off fireworks the other night too. This would have been really helpful for that as well. It's, it's hard. It's hard yeah, you can't, see can't even the flame. see it, yeah. dude. That's crazy. <laughs> so that's awesome. Because actually, Dado, I was having trouble getting the cigar lit <laughs> evenly around. You know, so that's yeah, perfect. Hey, thank know. you, buddy. Well, like, I appreciate it. Yeah, yeah. All right, so I pulled out my bike. I'm still waiting for my pops. But in the meantime, Calimoto TV, Bill, Excuse told me he was gonna- my what, what is this? I wasn't prepared to be on camera. Apparently not, oh. okay. Sent us a package from California, and he said he would that we would love it. And look at that. I've never had this before. Have you teens? It's really for me, because I am the one that- She's vodka. the vodka girl. But I, I like vodka too, because I like to make Moscow mules and stuff. But this is a fifth, wait, what is this? Fifth. 51 yeah. times distilled. You said it was 51 years no, old. No, I did not say that. That's what you said earlier. You're like, he you said it's a 50 year old no, vodka. I did not say that, I did not say okay. that. Okay, 51 time distilled vodka. Have you ever had this, Otto? I have not. Looks like a award winning. There's my pops pulling up right now that. too. That's awesome. Bill, true, I appreciate it. Let me read this. For the true connoisseur, the purity connoisseur 51 reserve is our most refined and exquisite spirit. Blended or neat, you don't need anything but time to enjoy it. Blended or neat, that's freaking awesome. From that's Sweden, we'll definitely try some of this out in the future. Oh, he's Meanwhile, Papa Bear is pulling up. Look at him. Yes. Oh and guys, he doesn't know about my surprise right now. I guess he's just going over there for some reason. What? Look at him. Look at that. He's going that way. Rain clouds. That's not good. So, Dad, this is your first time seeing the monster with the exhaust. That, what do you think? That's the coolest color of ever so dad seen. that the whole exhaust is gonna look that's like, like that blueberry yeah man. once Holy, once it really starts heating up yeah it's really wonka oh my it's gonna God. go back the whole the whole exhaust that's yeah amazing. isn't that gnarly so what i'm thinking dad is i'll start off riding this we'll link up all of our comms mm -hmm. and then i'll give my feedback and opinion on it and then dotto can hop on it and then you can hop on it and we'll all kind of you know what i mean give our thoughts and feelings and we'll all get to see and hear it it, 40 percent it's a 40 percent chance yeah. we'll be fine okay. yeah but damn it's beautiful out here look at this that's perfect i mean right it is it's like 75 down. degrees it's amazing so why don't we do a little exhaust rev we'll start all the bikes and see which one sounds best right now all right so we're going to do a quick sound test before we leave see which one sounds best my guess is the monster but we'll find out go ahead dad start her up give us some revs got background though <laughs> Lamborghini Diablo 
impressive with a little bit of crack. When I put the yet. Termi system You both on need exhaust. Yeah. I'm sorry to say, but yours both need exhaust. I know. I know. <laughs> we do. Well, I got one on the way. All I saw was smoke coming into your. I know, my, it smells right so at, bad. <laughs> right at, yeah. Life one, of a videographer, this right? Is mm -hmm. The difference in exhaust mix, because this thing used to be whisper quiet. Now listen to this thing. Oh, yeah! Oh Dad, is this not one of the best sounding bikes you've ever heard? That's scary loud. That's scary. Dude, that though. Look, I can't get over this. It's just going to get better and better. I can't get over this. All right, let's ride. Wow. I forgot. I did not press record for any of that. Shut up. I'm kidding. Oh, wow. uh, All right, boys. We're on the road. And we're heading to get gas because both me and my dad are empty. And there's, I'd say there's a 50-50 chance we get rained on today. What do you think, Dotto? I'm going to say there's probably a large percentage that it we are. It feels like it. Yeah, it feels like it. But, um, uh, Dotto, that bike sounds so good, dude. I feel very comfortable on it. Yeah, you look really good. When you were pulling up the driveway today, I could hear it, and I looked out and saw you, and you were all blacked out on it. I was like, damn. Look at all the rain. Oh, you're right. Let's go that way, guys. Let's go straight into it. F it. God, it sounds so good. So the cool thing about today is not only are we, God, the downshifts even are ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> not only are we giving like all of our first impressions and everything, but we're just testing it all out, making sure everything works properly. Um, the ECU is going to be doing some adaptive learning. <laughs> oh my God, dude. It sounds so good. Dada, Dada go on the left hand side. some adaptive learning. <laughs> Dada, go on the left hand side. Huh? On the road, go on the left hand side of the road. I want to come up next to you because that looks and sounds. Oh my god, dude! <laughs> wow, it makes me want a monster just because of that exhaust. Like, holy crap, it's incredible. How does the bike feel, Dotto, compared to how it was before? Honestly, if like the position of these handlebars, I kind of like it. Uh huh. You know, it's comfy. Uh, the bike feels like it just completely woke up since the first yep. time I rode it. And a lot lighter. When I was pushing it around, the 30 pounds or, or, or more that we stripped off of it, I could tell already, you know? 30 pounds is a lot of weight on a bike. And we just getting started, boys. We just getting started. <laughs> hey, hit some downshifts when I'm next to you. Dada. Yeah! Oh my god! Just a little bit, you know? Alright, let's get some gas okay. and then we'll find some good roads. Alright, so I decided just to hop on this right now because I couldn't let Dado have all the fun. We can let him get back on it in a minute. Oh my god! It sounds so good! Alright, where are we going? Back to the left? Yeah, yeah, let's go up. Alright. Pops, you here? Yep. All right, I think going left is going away from the clouds. So that makes Jer Bear very happy. My God, you guys here? You guys yep. ready? Okay. Yep, yep, yep. I can't wait to feel this thing. <laughs> Dude, oh my God. It's a world of difference from this. Dude, do you hear all the crackles on the D-cells? Mm-hmm. Holy shit. By the way, Dotto. What? If you hit that cancel, turn signal cancel button, it does bring up the modes. That's what I told you. Okay, you were right. Yeah, you were right. Yeah, but I, the thing is, like, I don't want to not hit it, you know, and then the turn signal will stay on. Yeah. It's just, if you hit it more than once, once cancels it, if you hit it again, it goes into the mode select. I'm going to be honest with you. Your bike is way more comfortable on your ass. Yeah, oh yeah, dude, that seat is, damn, you look, Dotto, you need a Diablo, bro. <laughs> I hate to tell you, but oh my God, you look good on that thing. Holy shit. Dad, you're gonna, do you wanna ride this, Dad, later? 
I did uh, six hours on my bike, and I didn't think it was that bad because of the seat and the position of your body. Wait, uh, what were you talking? I said, do you want to ride this? I know, I heard you, but I was <laughs> talking about Dado saying how comfortable oh. he was on there. And yeah, I just love these bikes. Yeah, they're super comfortable, man. Holy shit! <laughs> oh my god, dude. That, this yeah. bike has been completely transformed. With this exhaust, with the filter and the flash, and then the 30 pounds of weight loss, it feels like a completely different bike, dude. Wow. It is so much better, and, I'm, and it needs some adaptive learning. So even though we flashed it, and obviously that's gonna adjust the, do the majority of the uh, fueling adjustment, air to, air to fuel ratio adjustment, there's still some, some adaptive learning based on you know where you are, your, your, how high your elevation, the temperature, humidity, all that stuff. So I can't believe there's uh, electronic systems that figure that crap out. It's pretty crazy, right? Yeah. Dad, come up here next to me. Listen to this thing. Listen. Listen to the DC. I just can't get over the purple, man. <laughs> that, that's the deepest, richest purple I've ever seen. It's pretty incredible, right? Yeah. That's wow. Beautiful. And like, hold on. Let me do some. Let me do. Let me upshift real quick. All right. Now come up next to me. That Listen to this really downshift. Good. <laughs> wow. Oh my God. Listen to the downshift. Wow. <laughs> wow. Snap, crackle, and pop. Do you hear the crackles? <laughs> Oh, like a popcorn machine. Yeah, it did. <laughs> wow. Unbelievable, dude. I actually... This makes me want a monster now. Just this from this right here. This is incredible. I'm, you know what like blows my mind still? What? 30 pounds. Dude. 30 pounds. Over 30, 30 pounds. Over 30, dude. And think about it, Dada. We're going to do the carbon wheels next. Oh, Dad, did I show you those yet? I don't think you showed them to me. I saw a snap picture of them. Or oh, something. okay, I'll show them. I haven't them to seen them in person. Yeah, I'll show them to you when we get home. I bet they're gonna shave another five to seven pounds, and that's rotational mass. Like, do you know how insane the that is? The bike is gonna feel insane. It already feels amazing. I want to feel some turns here. Good God. Yeah, honestly, this bike felt. A, I I felt. I think it felt too heavy for what it was before, but now it feels like it should have, in my opinion, like it should have felt from the factory. Oh yeah, but, my. But the price tag would be insane. That's true. Yeah, that's true. I mean, we've already put on probably six grand worth of mods, something like that, maybe more. And I mean, with the wheels, we're probably going to be at 10 grand already. <laughs> Yeah, that's, I don't think people want to pay that much for a monster, Jared. That's half the cost of the monster. <laughs> hey, that's why we do these builds, you know? Because people people can enter to win drain bikes. That was the whole point of it. Let's see how it feels here. Woo! Oh my God. Jesus. Those guys just stopped whatever they were doing. <laughs> Look, they want us to go just to listen to it. slightly obsessed with this bike now. <laughs> Dotto is just... Oh my god! Oh, a lot of gravel. A lot of There's gravel. There's a lot of gravel yeah. here. Whenever it rains, a lot of these driveways wash out here, so you yeah. gotta be careful. So like we'll, this one here. Yep, yep, yep. And this one here. Yep. <laughs> Dude, Dotto, the back of that bike looks so freaking badass. You like my rear end? I do. I like your rear end, bud. Damn. I can't wait to have the Termi exhaust on that. More gravel. <laughs> yep. <laughs> but these roads are freaking epic. Like, so epic. It's funny how everybody, like, even when Regal was back there, he's like, dude, he's like, what the hell? He's like, you don't realize how much you miss these roads until you're, like, out on flat land. Yep. How confidence-inspiring is that bike, Dotto? Uh, look at me. <laughs> 
You're just freaking ripping it. Unbelievable, dude. I'm glad you're getting to feel some turns on that thing. <laughs> you know? It's so easy to ride. Oh, lots of gravel. Yeah, I see it. So we come down off the mountain here into some beautiful back roads. Dotto was just asking me how many miles the monster has. 510 miles. Haven't even hit the first service miles yet. And that one has how many, Dotto? 300 uh, something? 326. <laughs> just two brand new Ducatis. <laughs> Roll around. My dad has 20k or more on his. 20,800. 20,800. That's amazing. This is literally couldn't ask for anything more than this right here. It's perfect weather, amazing roads, great company. Just stoked, guys. And this monster is completely transformed. It is so much better than it was before. Oh man, it's, it's night and day. So if you guys want this exhaust, this whole setup you can get from Moto Million. Uh, just go to Moto, motomillion.com. There's a whole playlist for the Ducati Monster 1200 build he did just for me. And if you guys get anything from his website, use code CAMPEASY and you can save yourself some money. <laughs> hey, hey Jared. What? I want you to follow me. All right. You're, you're going to be like, oh my God. This is Ready? incredible. Yep. Be careful here too. Yeah. We're going to take a right right here. Right. Uh-huh. Look at this bridge for a photo. Whoa. That's amazing. What do you think? Yeah. Is this a covered bridge? Uh-huh. Can I go up and turn around? Or actually, yes, you I'll, can. Just, I'll just turn around right here. Yeah, I'm gonna park this right here. Dude, holy crap. Yeah, I wish the sun was out because then you could see all the wood inside. This is so cool. Look at the creek right just, down here. Just don't rev too much because... I'm not going to rev it at all because there's people down there fishing. Yeah, not only that, but like people live here and shit. Yeah, yeah. So, as you guys saw, we just pulled off here and hang out a little bit, take some photos. Look at this covered bridge. How freaking cool is this? It's so dope. I want to ride through there so badly and hear the exhaust, but there's people down there fishing and stuff in the, uh, in the river. Or a creek, I guess you should say. But look at that, guys. How epic is that? Oh, my God. Incredible. All right, so Dotto and I switched bikes because he didn't really get to ride the Monster that much. And I really want him to, to feel the difference that that bike has. It, it's, like I said, it's completely... <laughs> oh, my God, dude. I just spit a flame when you shipped it. Jarrett? Yeah. Get ready for some very sharp turns. Okay. Just be ready. Okay. Yeah. Um, dude, that thing squatted down, Dotto, when you freaking ripped it. I saw the front end get light, too. Oh, it does. I yeah. noticed that. It almost feels like there's no stink stabilizer at all. <laughs> That's because there isn't. It's exactly like my old one. <laughs> <laughs> Those downshifts, remember you have a quick shifter, Dotto. I know. On the downshift. Menta men mentally. Mentally, it's hard for me to accept that. <laughs> when you press it down, you mean? Yeah, it's weird. That's the best part about that bike setup right now. When you go off the throttle, you have to go off the throttle to do it, Dotto, and just kick it down. It's amazing. Damn, these turns are awesome, dude. Damn, these turns are legit. Holy shit. Your feet are almost scraping. Yeah, buddy. Look at that go, dude. <laughs> it's just, it's talking to us, dude. Oh my God. <laughs> How amazing is that, dude? It sounds incredible. Oh. It's actually not ear piercing at all. No, it's not too loud. Okay, it is loud, but it's not yeah. too, it's not too loud, you know? I wish that I had my you know what I might have to do? My other GoPro setup with the wired mic <laughs> is gonna pick all this up a lot better than the Senna does, the Senna mic. So I might have to take this out with my other one and just do a raw yeah, like a raw clip of it, you know? Good god. Isn't it you could do it all day long? Dude, it I can't even explain to you like this just instantly makes me happy. I really think your dad should take a rip on it. I know he said no, but Mark, yeah. it's... <laughs> <laughs> it 
got so much character now. Uh huh. And see, that's what's so that's what's such a shame about all these regulations now that are. Oh, listen, ready? Oh! <laughs> all right, that was pretty cool. It popped perfectly at the right time. Um, no, that's what's so sad about all these regulations right now with exhaust because you can almost not even put exhaust on bikes anymore. It's going to get to that point and then eventually they're going to have to go electric. So stuff like this is going to be, it's, it's, it's coming to an end and it's such a freaking shame, man, because let's be honest, motorcycles are not ruining the planet. You know what I mean? Like yeah. there just aren't enough people riding and putting enough miles on it. And so it's just a shame that, that bikes are being targeted, you know, and cars too. But the same thing, exotic cars are not killing the planet, you know? They make, they sell 5,000 Lamborghinis in a year, you know? Like, give me a break. Like, I don't know. I just, I don't think that every car needs to be electric and every bike needs to be electric. That's just my opinion. Um, but, you know, I am all for helping to combat climate change and stuff like that. But I think that there's better ways to go about it than just regulating everything out of existence. I think it needs to be a fine balance between yes. utilizing clean power, yep. not just for vehicles. I'm talking about like generating power for, for the entire world. Yes. You know? Look at this, guys. Holy shit, that is beautiful. It looks like Jurassic Park right now, doesn't it? <laughs> God, that bike sounds so good, dude. <laughs> Echoing off the sides of everything. My God, this is amazing. <laughs> My pops just went flying. That's really cool, that train right there. Uh-huh, imagine taking a photo next to one of the cars. That would be really freaking cool. There's actually a lot of places to take photos around here. I hear the exhaust in your headset, Dotto. <laughs> I'm coming up next to you. Alright. Yes! Wow, that sounds great. Oh, that does sound good. It sounds so good. Oh! Oh! <laughs> I really hope this comes across, dude. Dotto, how much more do you like that bike now? Honestly? Uh, before, when I rode it stock, I thought it was cool because I've honestly never ridden a brand new Monster. With the mods that we've done already, this bike is 200% better. Yep. Like, it completely woke up. Yep. And uh, it actually feels, I, I know it sounds crazy and I know 30 pounds doesn't seem like a lot, but on a motorcycle, it actually feels more nimble. I noticed it. I noticed it immediately, dude, even just pushing it around my driveway today. What? <laughs> Check this out. It's a little place called Carsonville Hotel. It has a cool little outdoor area. You can hang out out here and chill, have drinks and whatnot. But we're just kind of stopping by to take a look at it. It looks pretty freaking cool. Oh, we know. Yeah. Um, yeah, this is this is badass. How far away is this from us? Do you think? Ooh, good question. Uh, 45 minutes? Okay. 40 minutes, something like that. Isn't it weird when you ride? It just feels like time disappears. In a mm -hmm. car, that's a long drive but on a bike you're just you're there you know mm -hmm. hasn't even felt like we've even gone anywhere yet i know so i'm enjoying this so much I, that's why i kept asking you I'm like do you mind if we keep going <laughs> i you love know. it dude i'm loving it i keep saying i need to get out on the bike more and i'm like we need to ride more dude riding behind you on that thing is amazing do you do you want to switch because your dad doesn't yeah, get you on want it. to get on it yeah yeah, yeah let's, let's swap it. back I'll, I'll end the video back on the monster okay so I just realized Dado just told me that my GoPro died. So I'm glad that he did because I would have been talking to you guys and you wouldn't have been able to hear anything. Um, we're, we're pretty much out in the middle of nowhere right now. So I think we're just going to have to end the video here. But final thoughts and feelings on the bike. This is with the full SC Project titanium exhaust, the Sprint high flow filter and the Turn Me Up map. Plus, you know, some of the other mods that we've done. Over 30 pounds of weight savings. And I can tell you guys, it completely transformed the bike. Like... When I bought this bike, I thought it was a cool bike, but it wasn't like I needed, I wanted one. Now, and this is coming from me riding my Lamborghini Diablo, I'd rather ride this right now than That's my why bike. I didn't get off of it. Right? It, like, wouldn't you rather ride the Monster? Yeah. It's the, so... Like the torque, and then you just let off, and you're like, okay, I'm going to hit the throttle. Yeah, never mind. I want to hear, to hear the, the bomb. Huh? Yeah, yeah exactly. It's, it's freaking awesome. I really hope that it came across on camera. I haven't checked, obviously I haven't checked the GoPro footage yet, so I don't know what it sounded like, but dad, what did you think of that thing? 
sounds amazing. Yeah, and it looks incredible, right? Yes, it does. Yeah, I think it's it's one of the best sounding exhausts I've ever heard, honestly, on any bike. And especially when you're the D cells in first gear, when you're coming to a stop and it's cock, 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 cock. it's just like Dotto said, you just want to go up and then down and up and then down and up and then down, just nonstop. I was actually, I thought you were going to yell at me because Jared starts talking. I'm like, Bruh! and then and then I let off. He's like, oh, that sounds amazing. And then he starts talking again. I'm like, Bruh! it sounds so good. I can't help myself. No, it's just having fun, man. That's all it is. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I want to do more videos like this, getting out and riding and testing out parts and actually giving you guys our feedback and our feelings and stuff like that. Because, you know, a lot of the, the videos are just in the garage, and which is great. But, you know, I want to, I want to try to diversify the content and stuff like that so yeah that's it hope you guys enjoyed the video don't forget you can enter to win this bike patreon.com slash camp pz customs we're going to be adding something really special to this build very soon so stay tuned for that get signed up if you enjoyed the video give it a thumbs up subscribe for more and we'll see you guys in the next one